My name is Ryan Arroyo. I am the football equipment manager. And I've been full time this year, but I've been playing here and been here since 2005. Uh, during season, I mean, any given days, I come in, hang loops, uh, clean the helmets, repair the helmets, uh, shoulder pads repair, um, get all the jerseys ready for the game, get all the footballs ready for the game, set up the headsets before the game. Uh, so it really is just the day-to-day -day operations that go into uh, just getting football equipment ready for any given practice or game. My first time here at Sacred Heart, I was actually a student, uh, student athlete. It was when I played football here at Sacred Heart. Um, uh, played four years here, was captain uh, my senior year uh, in 2008. And uh, because I, I played uh, for the first four years, I wasn't able to get a fifth year eligibility. So, um, so being that I still had school to finish, the the coaches hooked me up with the undergrad assistant job where they brought me in as an assistant coach, and I still had to work studying, and I ended up taking up the equipment room. Uh, the the difference in the program, especially the difference in the program from two years ago and up until this year, uh, is definitely an attitude thing. Um, coach No Free was interim head coach uh, two years ago. We still had the burden of, of the head coach uh, job like over him in a way. Uh, but I mean, once once that weight was lifted off his shoulders and then they're able to focus on, uh, focus on the program and changing the whole attitude and making it theirs rather than, rather than uh, going to, to the beat of another drummer, they made it all theirs and they're able to change the program and and I mean, you you'd seen within the, within the two years that uh, we go from a two and nine season to a ten and two season. Now with the NEC championship, it's, it wasn't. We didn't get a new coaching staff. Uh, coach Nofri's been here for twenty years. He's never he's never been the head coach, but he's always been the uh, the associate head coach, the next in line. And um, when he finally got that head coaching position, and he was able to to make the team his, run it how he'd like to, how he would like to run it, how he has been preparing 20 years to run. Um, I mean, that that helped him out. Uh, I mean, that that was a big part of the change in the program. And, I mean, having Coach Bolas, he's our offense coordinator, having him there and having Coach Wisman, our defense coordinator, basically letting them to run their, run their show. You know what I mean? Uh, he didn't step on any toes. He let he trusted his guys, and uh, let them let them do their thing, pick their own plays, and and uh, and just run and run their run their football game. And and with that, they uh, they changed the program a little bit. They changed the offense a little bit. They changed the defense. Uh, what I mean is like they changed the way how they ran things. They changed it to a zone read offense now. And I mean, with that, we adapted to our personnel and. I mean, you see how it changed the change the program. It, the thing with football, it's it's definitely a team sport. Um, so it's never really one guy, and it'll never be one guy. Um, but on that note, there are definitely people that that have helped. You know what I mean? Who are a big part of the program. Um, we got an amazing offensive line with Paul Link, Jamie Martinez. Uh, Andrew Brigley, you know what I mean, just to, just to start off with our offensive line and and how they're able to protect our quarterback and block for our running back. Our quarterback, R.J. Noel, is a huge part of this program. Um, our, our running back, Kashada Spence, tight ends and fullback, um, tight end Timmy Goodwin, fullback Pat Casey. Like I, I can I can literally name, rattle off all the names on the offense, and they're all a big part. You know what I mean? We're talking wide receivers now. We got... Uh, we got Greg Moore. We got Moses Webb, who had the the big ESPN yes. highlight this year. Uh, we have Bobby Johnson, who who's a huge tall receiver. We got Tyler Doobie, who is by far one of the best receivers I've ever seen, and I've been playing football for a long time. And that's just on the offensive side of the ball. Now we want to flip over to the defensive side. Uh, this year we had Ray Hodgson as one of our our, our uh, defensive tackles. Troy Moore, who's an All-American uh, defensive tackle. Kellen Sperduto, uh, linebacker who's a freak, he's just all over the ball. Uh, Connor Candido, another another outside linebacker. Gordon Hill, who's our safety, 
who plays lights out, flies around all the time. Uh, Dennis Regan, Preston Sanford at cornerbacks. Uh, J.D. Uh, Roussel, another quarterback who, who had like four or five picks alone this season, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, it's never been – it's never been one guy. It'll never be one guy in football. But these these guys all bring in their own talents, and they they changed the program. Never, never that, never the one. Just they they all did it, and they all did it their own style and their own way. And as you can see, they did an amazing job. So one thing that Coach Nofri has done, and I'm very proud of it. Um, and it's kind of like a goal. I guess it's a goal for for all of us. Um, is he's brought back the alumni. He's made the alumni um, a part of the team. Um, we 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 get weekly updates of how everything's going. Um, and it's a global email it goes out to guys up uh, as far as 2001, where they won the national championship. Um, but he, he he keeps us all in contact. I mean, and one of the goals for me personally. Uh, is to stay in that loop of alumni um, and have all of us give back to the program. But as for as for a program in general, uh, I think obviously the goal is to win the NEC again, um, correct those two losses, and let's go undefeated. You know uh, that that would be a huge goal for next year. But you know what I mean. Uh, the goals are just. I mean the. The goals, I guess, will have to be play football. You know what I mean. Don't take take steps forward, never step back. Yeah. So I mean, each each year, uh, and, and this is just the facts. It's just football. I mean, this is, this this comes with the territory, especially in collegiate football. Uh, you only got four years to do your thing. You know, and 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 our seniors this year had an amazing ride. Had a had a great year, and um, but unfortunately. And it, it seems it seems brutal to say, but it, it is the truth. It's the next man up. So you're going. Listen, we love you. We miss you. Like this, and this is the overall like uh, the talk we get. We love you. We'll miss you. But the next guy's gonna have to step up. You know what I mean? No one's ever bigger than the program. So I mean, there's a um, couple guys that we're gonna that we're definitely gonna miss. Uh, Paul Link, one of our one of our starting uh, guards, he's gone. Um, one of our our solid solid middle linebacker, awesome captain, uh, Matt Colucci. He's another one that's gone. Uh, another another one of our guys that's that's going to be gone is Greg Moore. Uh, he was a huge wide receiver, an amazing uh, captain this year. Um, but yeah, there's there's going to be there's going to be people that we miss, but there's also shoes that have to be filled. And next guy up, you know. Oh man! All right, so. My favorite moment um, for this season, I, like, it was winning that championship ring. Um, I've, I've been involved with the program since 2005. It's been a long, very, very long eight years, <laughs> um, but it's also been amazing. And the the greatest moment was watching Coach Nofri and all those great like coaches and players um, win that ring. Because inevitably, I, I get the ring too. So you know what I mean. Like, I feel like I've, I've, I'm still a part of this program, um, and they take care of me. So the the biggest the biggest victory this year was Robert Morris when we won the the NEC when we were declared the championships uh, when we were declared the champions. That uh, that was the biggest moment for me this year. And obviously, I think I'm pretty sure I speak for everyone when we say all the guys. Uh, enjoyed that moment because we finally get that ring, you know. Um, but my my best moment, I mean, listen, this this was great. Um, 2008 was my senior year. I had a lot of great guys that I played football with, and uh, we actually had like a turning uh, point in the program too because uh, just like just like this year, we had to overcome adversity. We went three straight seasons with losing records. Uh, best record I think was like four and seven mm -hmm. and um, my senior year we ended up going eight and three and changing changing the program around um, didn't change much but it didn't change much after but my senior year I think the, the best feeling was um, being a part of the offensive line we were the last team in the NCAA to give up a sack 
and we had the fewest sacks, I believe, in the NCAA throughout Division One uh, that year. I mean, I, I got all-conference player. Um, I, I was captain, and it was just all around a great year for me. That was personally through my playing years, but I mean, this year was obvious. It was definitely Robert Morris when, when we won that state, uh, when we won that national championship.